Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to look up records in a table that match a list. And this is using the advanced filter feature in Excel. So let's say, for example, that we want to look up items only one and two, and we want to have a quantity less than 500. One way we could do it is we can turn on filtering here. So if we turn on filtering, we can say, OK, anything that is less than 500, All right, and then we also want items one and two, right? And then we would have that there, but that means that we'll just have our original table here condensed, filtered. And if we don't want that, if we want to see our table here in its entirety, but also have a separate table that shows us the filters, we can do advanced filtering. I'm going to delete this or clear that filter. And let's see how that can be done. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, two, two mini tables. One that has our items that we want, our list of items that we want filtered. So this is item one and item two. The other one is we're going to have this table where we have some of our condition. Here I'm going to have a condition that says less than 500. And here what I'm going to do is have a count. All right, a count if. What this, is, what this does is it's going to, what the count if does, let me delete this. All right. The count if is it's going to count this range, and we need to put that into uh, absolute cell references. Press F4, have the dollar signs in front of the letters and the numbers, comma, and our criteria is going to be the items here. So once I put that in there and I put that into the advanced filter, it's going to take care of it and look through this whole table once it uh, uses the advanced filtering. Press Enter. And we have our two tables here. Now, I will put the headers, Control C to copy. Let's put it over here. Control V to paste. I'll just paste. So we'll bring up the advanced filtering, go under the data, and under the sort and filter, we have our advanced command. Click. So we have our advanced filter window up here. We don't want the filter list in place because that's what we did with the drop downs here. We want to copy it to another location. And then our list range is going to be A1 to C20. We're going to copy the whole table plus the headers. Our criteria range is also going to be this table or a table or this range of data. We're going to copy from F1 to G2. And we're going to copy it to my set of headers here, which match the headers over here. And once that's done, click OK. And now we have our items here, right? So item one, everything's less than 500 here. We're only looking for items one and two. Let's say this item here, let's change this to 10, make it really obvious. And let's run it again. Let's go to advance. We have copy. And we have A1 to A20, F1 to G2, and L1 to N1. Click OK. And now what we've seen here is we added that one, right? We have item two, and that's 10. So that's the way that we can look up records in a table that match uh, a list with some criteria using the advanced filter feature. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.